Hey guys, I'm Dr. Anhorshik, and today I'm gonna to give you the ultimate Bulgarian split squat checklist. Get up and get down, get up and get down. All right guys, so you're getting to the gym and it's time to perform some Bulgarian split squats. Let's talk today about how to perfect your positioning and your movement. Let's walk you through a checklist so you can make sure that you're performing the perfect Bulgarian split squat. So first things first, positioning. Bulgarian split squat is a rear foot elevated split squat, meaning that we need to find a box, a bench to put your foot on top of. Now, the first thing a lot of people have questions on is how high should the box be? The big thing I see is a lot of people go too high. They have their foot really high on a box, and what that's going to do is when they get down into that bottom position, it's gonna place a crazy stretch on the front side of that back leg. That's not our goal with this. Our goal is to strengthen the front leg. That back leg is basically just a kickstand to your bike. Now, if you have the back leg in the correct position, when you are in the bottom of your split squat stance, getting set up, obviously not any holding any weight yet, you should be able to wiggle that foot a good amount. Remember, that foot is only there as a kickstand. 90% of our body weight is going through the front. I do not have a crazy bad stretch in the front of my hip right now. Some people may get a little bit, but if the box is in the correct position, you should be able to wiggle your back foot a little bit, okay? So that's step number one. For most people, this is about an 18 inch height. I want you to err on the side of being a little bit smaller. So for some people, if you're a little bit shorter than I am, about 5'11", you could have maybe a 12 inch height box or even start on about an eight inch height for some people if you're a little bit shorter but you want to have an air on the side of being a little bit shorter. Second thing we're gonna be talking about is how wide or how long your stance length should be. Now, what I want you to do is get into the bottom position, rest your knee on the ground, and let's talk about how to get the perfect length. When you get into your bottom position, remember our back leg is a kickstand, so I'm wiggling my toes. I want to see a little bit of a forward shin angle ideally for most people. Now this is for a healthy athlete, we'll talk about our recommendations if you're having pain. But for most people, a forward chin angle, just a little bit, and in that bottom position, if I have the correct stance length, my torso angle should be mimicking, fairly close, my forward chin angle. Now, I tell people I want about 90% of your body weight through your front foot. So if I have my torso angle in the right position, my length is correct, and I'm driving 90% of my body weight through here, weight through the midfoot, I'm gonna come straight up and straight down, and you can see that my torso angle remains pretty constant in the bottom position with my forward chin angle. Now, again, what do some people do incorrectly? They will have their knee very far forward in the front like this. Now, if I'm trying to put 90% of my body weight through here, this shin angle is not mimicking my torso angle. So that's the first incorrect position. Second is they get real far forward. Again, I've got more of a vertical, if not a negative position right here. Trying to do this, that's really spread out. So that would be the second fault. So for most people, for a healthy athlete, I want that shin angle about right here, and we're driving vertical. Now let's talk stance width. For most people, I don't want you to tightrope, okay? I want you to have a little bit of a length in between. If you are an Olympic weightlifter and you're going into your split jerk, you're usually gonna want about a foot or so length in between where your front foot is and your back foot. You should be able to look in between your feet and see a little width. So when you get down into your Bulgarian split squat, your front foot in shoulder position should go straight in line. If I'm here, there's obviously a vertical line going this way. And if I'm way out here outside my stance width, that's obviously not a correct position as well. So for most people, you're gonna want shoulder straight vertical down that foot into the shin, okay? So that is going to be the ideal stance width for most people, okay? So we've talked about so far box height, we've talked about length, we've talked about width, Let's now talk about foot pressure. Remember the back foot is the kickstand. 90% of your weight goes through your front foot. In this position, we are now going to drive straight up and we're moving into the movement section of the Bulgarian split squat. From here, we're driving straight up and straight down. Try to be as vertical as possible with this movement as you can. You'll see a lot of people and they will incorrectly sort of seesaw backwards. So they'll come back and they'll go forward. 
what is this doing? It's shifting a lot of weight into my rear foot. Remember, this is a rear foot elevated split squat, but our goal is to train single leg. So I want most of your pressure through your front leg. So try to keep this movement as vertical as possible. Up and down. You don't have to go all the way down to your tap, but I want you to try to keep your movement as vertical as possible. Now, let's talk about weighting this. At the start, just body weight alone is gonna be pretty tough for some people. You can then move to a kettlebell or dumbbell, hold it right by your chest, okay? Let's get back into position. Remember, 90% through a front leg, hold it up here, down, and back up. You can also hold it on the offset side, down, and back up, just like that. You can also progress this eventually to a barbell on your back like I did at the start of today's video. Now, that is the Bulgarian split squat checklist. We have box height, we have length, we have our width, we have our foot positioning and how much weight we wanna hold through our front foot. Let's talk about modifications. If someone is having a lot of knee pain, I probably wanna put them in a position where maybe they're a little bit more forward with that foot. And the reason for that is we're going to take a little bit of sheer and compressive force off the front of the knee. So they're gonna be in a little bit more of a lengthened position, sitting back just a little bit more into the heel, not into the back foot, but into the heel of their front foot. And that's just going to allow them to keep a little bit more vertical shin. And that vertical shin is going to allow us to not have as much compressive force straight back and sheer force on the knee like that. So allow someone that's maybe dealing with a type of knee injury that is symptomatic if their knee goes over their toe. It's going to allow them to transition into single leg training without becoming symptomatic. So that is the first modification. Now, some people will say, well, I really wanna to try to hit my quads. I wanna have a really close stance. There's not necessarily a problem if you come with a shorter stance, if you're a healthy athlete and it's not hurting. Just know that it's sometimes very tough to get into a good position where we're not putting excessive shear force on the front of the knee. For most people, we're gonna want that front of the leg to be in a good position where at that bottom, I have a similar torso to shin angle and I'm in this position right here. For most people, that is going to be a healthy and safe position and movement for long-term resiliency of your body while you're doing your training. So I hope today you guys got something out of today's checklist video and you now understand how you can perform a Bulgarian split squat with better technique, better efficiency. It can help your training from here on out. Hope you guys, again, liked the video. If you did, please like, comment. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to know and learn about in next week's video. Until then, guys, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have